In August 2000, the Mars Global Surveyor took an image. An image that showed something extraordinary that we haven't seen on satellite images from Mars before. But to evaluate the image and understand the image, we need to understand and know something about the satellite who took the pictures. It was the satellite Mars Global Surveyor that was sent up in 1996. Mars Global Surveyor have a camera on board that's called the Mars Orbiter camera. And that's the camera who took our picture here. This camera has a resolution on 2 meter per pixel, which means that anything below 2 meter are not visible in the picture, not even if you zoom in. It's also important to mention that when you look at the newer images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, you, you realize quick that all the images or pictures are taken straight down from the satellite on the surface, where you on the Mars Global Surveyor can find some strips that are taken on a slant. That means you can actually see a wall underneath a roof if it was Google Earth you were looking at, which you wouldn't be able to see if you took it straight up and down. The Mars Global Surveyor has taken this picture from a distance of 378 kilometers away, which is a, a standard orbital altitude it has. The Mars Global Surveyor do not change altitudes like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter do. The image you're looking at here shows us a round object that is sitting on the edge of a cliff. When I had this image the first time, I contacted my old friend. Uh, he used to work, and I'm gonna keep his name to myself, but he used to work at the JPL download. He used to work with the spirits and opportunity images uh, on the download. So he knew a lot about images. So I contacted him and said, what about this one here? Uh, I would like to do something with this one. And he straight away said, oh no, you're not gonna jump on that one too, are ya? And I was like, what do you mean? It's an error. It's an error, there's nothing to it. And I got a bit disappointed because it doesn't look like an error on the image uh, to me. Not at all. It looks very, very interesting and it looked like we got to dig deeper into what we could see. So. This image was taken, as I said, in, in August 2000. And at first, we all believed that was the only image. So nobody was searching for other satellite images of the same area. So I started digging a little bit into this because I had a feeling that, that um, it wasn't an error on the lens. It, it, it wasn't. Uh, I had a feeling about it. So the first thing I did was I went in, and this is pretty simple, you can all go and do it. I went into Google Earth and went on the Mars version. And this is the easiest tool to find satellite images. I typed in the search box m 180558 which about 50% of you that are listening now are going to go try in a minute. And it will take you to the area where that little satellite strip is taken and it will show you with a little red or yellow line where the image is on the globe. This is pretty simple and it's pretty cool. You can click on a little dot saying M18 and you will take it straight to NASA's website where you can find the original image that you can download. But the thing about Google Earth is when you go in and, and for example as I did typed M18005558 you can choose that Google Earth and the Mars version have to show you all the Mars reconnaissance orbiter satellite strips also. And they are with another color than the Mars Global Surveyor. So just suddenly you have a lot of red and yellow boxes on Google Earth. And you know that some of them boxes are covering each other. And the first thing I found was another picture 
from the same satellite, which is important, uh, the Mars Global Surveyor. And when I downloaded that and went in and had a look at it, I was stunned because the theory of it being an error on the lens or, or being uh, some kind of error that, that has affected the picture just suddenly burst it, fell to the ground, completely disappeared. Because on that picture that was taken in 1999, a year before the first picture that came up, you can see the exact same anomaly. The picture is not as clear as the version taken in 2000, but you can see the anomaly and it's sitting right there at exactly the same spot as it did in the first M18 picture from 2000. So there we have a confirmation that they were lying to me, they were lying to us. This is not a lens error because the anomaly is there now in two pictures and different places on the picture because the pictures are not covering exact same area. So you would know if it was a, a, a lens error or something that the error would be the same place on the next picture even though the picture is taken on a different place but compared to the picture original. So here we go. First sign that something is being buried for us not to found. So there has been a lot of people posting this uh, anomaly and, and I was guided to it in 2014 uh, by another big name on, on, on the scene called Brad Collins Shepard, that's the founder of Lunar Anomaly Research Society. And he also believed that this is uh, something extraordinary and this is not a lens error or, or, or an error on, on, the, on the image in any kind of way. So I was happy, I have now confirmed that it's present in two different satellite images with one year between the images. So that's the first part of uh, the evaluation is the confirmation of it being there. You have more than one evidence. Now you have two pictures, two evidences of it being present on the Martian surface, which is cool. So I thought I'm going to dig into this now. And here's another little uh, uh, tricky story, because when I dug into it in 2014, the first time the data sheet on the M18-0058 told me that the picture was 3.1 kilometers wide. Oh well, and, and, and made a post about it or videos many years ago and came back to the same anomaly again. Uh, in 2019 and I went in on the data sheet again because I forgot uh, something I had to read in there, this pixels or something I went in and that was astonishing now they have changed the data sheet from the picture M18-00558 to being 3.1 kilometers wide to 2.97 kilometers wide so, so what's going on here? Why have they downscaled it? So I made an, a new estimation and it's almost the same scale at 147, 148 meters wide. Um, so, so the uh, scale I have used to measure the size is a 2.9 kilometer wide image or information from, from NASA on the ASU page. Now... <laughs> In 2023, when you go in and look at the M18-00558 on the ASU page, it tells you that the picture is now only 2 kilometers wide. And I'm like, here is something going on. We're doing an evaluation of this. This evaluation has taken a few years now. Uh, and the data keeps changing. So here's what's outrageous about it. How can NASA make a size estimation that is more than 30% wrong? How can they make such a wrong size estimation at the first time from being 3.1 km to 2 km wide? I, I feel like I want to ask the question, how big is Mars 
actually now. It definitely tells me that something is going on with this image here. They are manipulating the size of it now, so the measurements we come up with no longer fits, and you can probably point finger on that and say that's not the right measurements. So that was disappointing. That's a part of the evaluation to bring up what's going on here. This is a file error estimation and that should not be possible. So I'm looking at this and I still believe we found something big and that we found something that we originally wasn't meant to see but I believe this was a whoops from NASA's um, side of. Now I'm sitting with two pictures of this anomaly and then I realize what about the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter? Didn't it cover the area as well? So I'm looking for a high-rise image of the same area. There's no high-rise image, high resolutions of that area at all. At all! I could find a CTX, which is a context image uh, from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. And the context image is for overview, not for analyzing uh, areas. You use a context camera to look at, let's say, a 150 kilometer wide area to find out which area you, for example, want to land next time in. And when you find an area, you go over that area with the high-rise resolution and go deeper into it. So you can use the CTX um, uh, uh, images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to do anomaly hunting or, or to, to, to zoom in on or, or find anomalies on. This is what I was talking about before. The quality of the Mars Global Surveyor is 2 meter per pixel where the quality, and you would believe it would be better on the Mars Global, on the Mars uh, Reconnaissance Tower with its uh, context camera. But no, the context camera has a resolution in this image at 6.32 meter per pixel. Compare that to the Mars Global Surveyor MOC image, M180558, that has a 2 meter resolution per pixel. I found the area on the CTX images and I found the anomaly and I can see as you can see here that something is there something that is opened up is on the exact same spot you can't really see anything but now we got three images of the same anomaly where the third one should have been the best from the context camera but it is actually the worst but it still confirms that there is an anomaly and an object at the same a place that was photographed 20 years ago in 2000. So 20, uh, let me just correct myself, the context camera took this image in 2011. So the, the last image we have of the area is 11 years older than the two first clearer images we have from the older satellite. So here comes the big question. <clears throat> Are we looking at something extra ordinary on Mars. And is there a specific reason for that they haven't been over the area with the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to make a clear, crystal clear picture of the area so we can see what it is? I believe there is a reason for it. But my evaluation of this anomaly includes three different images confirming that the anomaly is there. It includes a size estimation and it includes the mystery of the size. How on earth can NASA change the size of an area three times in eight years, nine years, ten years? Something is wrong. So my evaluation of the M18 anomaly is that this anomaly is 100% real. It's sitting there on the side. We have it on three different images. So this evaluation uh, is proving that you can't say it's an error lens. We see it multiple places now. This anomaly was presented also in 2015 at the Mars uh, conferences in, in Alabama and again in 2016. 
It did make headlines again in 2015 and 16, but it seems like the public is forgetting it. Now when we are reposting the same images on social media, I still get messages from people saying it's fake and you have faked it or it's, a, it, it, it's a, an error on the lens. But with this evaluation where I have shown you all that we can find it on three different images, we should know by now that this anomaly is something extraordinary that we should remember. We had had the disclosure on UFOs on Earth with the governmental disclosure. I think it's time to take the next step also and do the disclosure on life on Mars because this image definitely proves that something is sitting there and according to the government we ain't on Mars so it ain't us. So who put that object there on the Martian surface? Thank you for watching. Please help and share this evaluation to the world so we can tell them what's up there on Mars. And remember, this anomaly is not the only anomaly we have. We have hundreds and hundreds of pictures of anomalies on Mars, from satellite images, from rover images, and we need to bring it all out in the public. But remember, when you are bringing something out, do your work, see if you can find other angles, other pictures, do your research and make a presentation. This presentation here has taken me about three years to put together. I work a little bit at a time and at that time, and because I'm spending so much time on it, I can evaluate all the time and get the latest facts in. NASA are doing something with the pictures. If they're not obfuscating pictures, they are changing the size of them. For what reason? I'm not sure I'm gonna get an answer for them, but something is definitely not right. Thank you for watching. Please help and share my evaluation of the M18 anomaly. It needs to get out to the world. We need disclosure on this. Thank you very much.